I greet you in Jesus' precious name. Welcome to the program. I'm standing underneath a beautiful little tree that my wife Jill planted a few years back. And this is next to our little chapel just behind us and our office block and the house is just down the road. Welcome to Shalom Farm. I've got a special message for you. It is a resurrection message. Oh yes, our Savior, our Lord, He's not in a grave. No, 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 no. No, He's alive and He has risen. Now, I was speaking to our producer a moment ago and he went with us to Israel where we made all those programs that you can see on YouTube of uh, the different places we went to in Israel and I preached at every place. And I want to tell you something now that Israel is a very, very special place in my heart. I've been there many, many times. And one of the favorite places is to go to the garden tomb. It's very peaceful. If you've been there, you understand what I'm saying. And the tomb, you can go into the tomb. And the tomb is empty. There's no bones there. There's no uh, mummy there. Why? Because Jesus Christ is alive. He's not dead. And the scripture, which is one of my favorite scriptures, which I'm going to read you right now, comes from the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 11. This is what it says. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Isn't that beautiful? The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in us. If you are a born again Christian, if you've asked Jesus Christ into your heart, you have the Holy Spirit within you. And that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead will also heal you, deliver you, set you free, give you a new life, wash away all your sins, okay? All you got to do is confess them. 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My dear friend, He's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. He's not some man in a long black coat with a big stick that's beating the people. That's not Jesus. Jesus came so that you and I can be raised from the dead, raised from our former life when we were anxious and fearful and depressed and frightened. He's taken it away. He says, any man being in me is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You'll find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. I just want to pray for you because maybe you've never done that. Just pray this prayer with me wherever you are. Dear Lord Jesus, that's right. Today, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I will serve neither gods but you. I thank you for dying for me on the cross of Calvary. And I thank you, Lord, for being raised from the dead on the third day. And even now, I pray you'll raise me up, Lord, and give me a new opportunity and a new start in life. And I'll give you all the glory and the praise and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, there we have it. Now all you've got to do is to walk the talk. Go out and tell the first three people you meet today. Today, I prayed the sinner's prayer. Today, I asked Jesus Christ to be my risen Lord and Savior. Today, I'm a new man in Christ. God bless you and goodbye.